Developing now, Pinal County deputies just identified a woman killed in a drunk driving crash on her way home from work Sunday as 21 year old Karina Luna. And the driver detectives say caused the chain reaction crash is now facing murder charges after she confessed to drinking and smoking weed behind the wheel. It happened at the Auction Indian Reservation on Fanner and Ralston Road, just south of the town of Maricopa. David Caltabiano is live tonight after speaking with the victim's family. David. Nicole, good evening. As you can imagine, they are just heartbroken over what happened. And, and one of the most devastating details is that Karina, she was called into work that night. She's a caregiver, and the crash happened when she was on her way back home. The way it happened, it shouldn't have happened to her. It shouldn't have happened to 21-year-old Karina Luna, who was killed in a three-car collision on Sunday night. Taking a road on the Action Indian Reservation, she knows all too well for traveling to patients' homes as a caregiver. It's hard on my mom, you know, and my dad and my other sister, and, you know, just to have the whole family. Police arrested 19-year-old Chelsea Edwards. According to court paperwork, she admitted to drinking long-neck Coronas and taking two shots of tequila before getting behind the wheel. Once she was behind the wheel, she also admitted to smoking weed while driving 80 in a 45 mile per hour zone. Edwards slammed into the truck ahead of her and that truck went into oncoming traffic, hitting another vehicle that was driven by Karina. She took away my our sister's life at a young age. I mean, all I can say, hopefully she pays for what she did. And I mean, we, we, we just want justice for our sister. It's not fair that my sister's life is gone and she still has a life. She's still going to live. Now the Luna family in Maricopa is remembering their beloved sister and daughter. She was willing to help out people. She would put everybody first. Then she would put herself, you know, last. While also calling for the alleged drunk driver to be held responsible. We just want justice for our sister. And Karina was one of the financial providers for the family while the father recovers from shoulder surgery. So they're really kind of thinking about that at the moment as well. If you want to help out, we have more information on our AZ Family News app. For now, I'm live in Phoenix, David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family. David, thank you. Black Friday.